Hi YouTube, um, I'm now going to show you or demonstrate how I installed a printer driver for my HP OfficeJet Pro 6830 on Linux Mint or for that matter any other Ubuntu based Linux distributions. Um, so conveniently I have searched for uh, HP 6830 Linux and it's actually this first one you need here the HP lip open source.com and once you clicked here it's as simple as going to download and then download again So what will happen now is um, the file will download, hopefully, and I'll just place it on my desktop and save it there. So while it's downloading, I'll just go back and look for uh, the installation. So basically, it's a case of um, as we come down here it's a case of automatic or manual installation and the automatic installer is by far the easiest um, for me to understand I'm fairly new to Linux and so we'll get it once it's downloaded we'll get on and do that so we'll need to open a terminal screen and I'll be back once this file has downloaded thank you Okay, well, that is now uh, downloaded, and so we'll show that in the folder. Um, and here we have it on the desktop. So it's basically a simple command of sh and then copy the file which you wish to run and then install it. Um, so it's asking me now installation mode. I always choose automatic. Um, distro OS confirmation. Uh, this appears to be Linux Linux 17.2. Is that you correct? Uh, yes, no, or quit. It'll be yes. Now sometimes um, I've installed this on Peppermint Linux as well, and I just use the Linux Mint option there. Uh, enter your sudo password and then allow it to do its magic ah. it does help if you put the correct password in which I now have so installation notes uh, you can read that if you wish um, enter to continue do you want to install all these missing dependencies of course I do yes and then it will proceed to install and I will skip the video now to my next question so here we have um, the next question do you want to um, the driver looks like it already existed in Miss may conflict with the new one being installed do you want to remove and install or quit um, I'll actually go for remove and install um, and then I know I have a an up-to-date system um, sometimes there's a problem with Linux depending on what uninstall technique you use um, depends on if it actually truly gets rid of everything um, oh, I'll do another video about that um, so for this one I'll just uninstall as we go and so here we have the next question is do you want to check for HP LIP updates of course we do yes so a restart or a plugin is required if you're installing a USB printer and the printer was plugged in when you start this install you need to restart your PC or unplug and replug in the printer um, actually I'm not doing this by USB so I will just ignore which is continue and so it asks if we would like to set the printer up in graphical user interface mode 
um, or interactive mode and we would like to do it in graphical user interface I always find that easier um, so here we go um, connection type I have actually got this um, over a network currently and so we'll click next and see what happens the, and there we go it's found my device which is that one and the correct IP address is showing and click on next and this will take us to a device manager set up another screen um, to which we can add a printer name, a description, a location uh, if you have multi printers in multi rooms um, I don't, I just have the one printer and I don't need to send a test page to a printer so I will just continue and add printer and then this will go through a little short process of adding the printer and it is now done if you uh, look down here we have the printer there and in the bottom right hand corner of the screen we have the HP logo which basically shows my printer and the HP device manager now the HP device manager comes with this is pretty good and just nearly the equivalent of um, the Windows version um, but I will show you that um, in a different video so anyway that's all for now um, I hope this has been useful for you we will see you again soon